Brown. I am the Education Director for Deadwood History, and today we are going to be making homemade bouncy balls. Uh, so this is something that you can do at home. Uh, you may have some of the ingredients at home that you need for this, because all you really need is glue, water, and something called borax. If you got into the slime craze that kind of went across America a few years ago, you may have some borax in your home, otherwise you can find it in the laundry aisle that it's just it's a detergent booster we do want to be really careful with this so you're going to want to have an adult help you with just the part with borax because then we're going to be able to do everything else so like i said we're going to make bouncy balls they're going to end up like this at the end uh, they're very squishy but they also bounce really well they're super bouncy balls so we're going to go ahead and get started i have all my ingredients and all the supplies that i need right here all ready to go so we'll get started all right so first thing that we need is half a cup of warm water we want to make sure that it's warm because we're going to dissolve our borax into it so i have my measuring cup here it is a half cup measuring cup and i have some water already i didn't want you to have to follow me all the way to the kitchen and back again but there's half a cup of water right there in my bowl. You do want to use a bowl because you're going to be using your hands. And now for my borax, I'm going to use a tablespoon of borax. So that's my big measuring spoon right here. So I'm just going to go ahead and get a nice flat scoop of borax and put it right into my warm water. And then I'm going to use a stirring stick I happens to be a chopstick because that's what I had. <laughs> and I'm gonna stir it up until it's dissolved. We wanna make sure that the borax uh, is no longer a powder and is instead dissolved in the water. So I'm gonna give it a nice stir until I don't feel any more graininess. I think I got it this time. All right. <clears throat> in a cup or a small bowl if you have that, you're gonna wanna put some glue and this is the part where you can color your ball at whatever color you want so i'm going to put about a tablespoon or two of just plain white glue you can use clear glue uh, you can even use the kind of glitter glue that's like blue or purple uh, just to give it a little bit of sparkling color but i'm going to use white glue probably a good squeeze or two about a tablespoon and just be super messy with it and then I'm gonna put some food coloring in it. And I have some neon color food coloring. Let's do, oh, this is a good color. They say it's blue, but it looks kind of turquoise-ish to me. So we're gonna put just a, a drop or two of this in here. That was three, I can count. And then we're just gonna stir it up. Get that color mixed in there, wow. That is a blue color right there. So make sure that's nice and blue. <laughs> and then you're just going to, now that you have your colored glue, you're just gonna dump it right into your solution that you mixed up with the borax. So I'm just gonna dump that right on in there. And you're gonna see pretty much immediately, I'll take it up in just a second so you can see, that it is, that it hardens pretty much immediately. So I'm gonna be able to pick this whole thing just right on up, just like that. Now it doesn't look like much of a bouncy ball right now because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna start squeezing and kind of getting those, see that, those glue pockets. And I'm gonna keep it in the borax solution on and off. Ooh. And I'm just gonna keep squeezing it until all of those little glue pockets start to dissolve and, and I get all that borax solution in there. Yeah. And it's gonna be kind of sticky, but you just keep squeezing it until it's all mixed together. And eventually, my hands are blue, eventually your hands are going to squeeze all of that extra borax solution out of there and you can kind of just mush it all together and your hands are going to start to dry off hopefully 
until you can start shaping it into more of a ball shape. So it's kind of like when you're making slime, except for it's gonna be a little bit harder and you're also not using contact solution like you do when you make slime. But you're just gonna keep on squeezing it. You might have to dip it back into the borax solution every now and then, but that's okay. One thing you wanna have on hand when you do this is paper towels. <laughs> which I didn't grab, but that's okay. Now, if it doesn't work the first time, that's okay, because what you can do is because you've got all of this solution left over, is you can keep going, you can keep making these. So, I only made about a tablespoon of, of uh, glue, so of my glue with the color, uh, and now, I've got all of this solution left over that I can keep making these bouncy balls with. So my hands are still really wet. So I'm just gonna keep forming this until it's kind of a ball shape. Until it looks like that one. And you can also use um, your measuring spoons to help you form these balls. Just kind of mush it around a little bit. And there we have a bouncy ball. Now my hands are still really wet. That's okay. <laughs> it's kind of, they're kind of soapy is what it is. But that's all right because now I have a bouncy ball. I'm gonna use the back of this paper to get rid of some of that excess wetness. There we go. That's better. All right, now you can do this with any color that you want. You can do this with any type of glue, like I said. Um, I used the just plain school white glue. Uh, like I said, you can use the glitter kind to give it a shine and uh, some nice color to it. There's purple and blue. I think there might be a green color. And then, uh, and they might be a little bit sticky. If they're still sticky, you just put it back in the solution until you get a ball. And then we're gonna see, no, my hands are very blue. That's okay, they'll wash off. Uh, and now we're going to see how well these bounce. I made one earlier, you might have seen the, the uh, recipe for this one go around as well, but I made one earlier that included cornstarch, and it didn't bounce as well, so I decided to go for something a little bit different. So I have my bouncy ball here. It is uh, pretty, let's see, almost silly putty-like, except for they do hold their shape while you're holding them. If you set it down on the table for too long, they will get flat on the bottom, like this one has. That's okay, you can reshape them. That's the fun of them. So we're gonna see how well this bounces. You ready, Ms. Rose? <laughs> All right, let's see. Nice, that was a pretty good bounce. Let's see if I give it a little force. I gotta catch them too now. <laughs> All right, they bounce pretty well. Ooh, just like that. So we have our homemade bouncy balls. If you make a bouncy ball at home, we'd love to see them. I wanna see what colors you come up with. If you mix colors, if you decide to throw in some glitter instead, I wanna see what they look like. So if you make these at home, make sure to take a picture or a video and post it on social media, tag us, Deadwood History on Facebook, uh, and, or hashtag Deadwood History, we can find it somewhere and we'd love to see them. Uh, we try to do videos while we're closed uh, throughout the week, so keep an eye out on our Facebook and we'll see you next week. Bye.